If you're ever finding yourself needing to export your table or query into a program somebody has because they don't have Excel or Access, like they do have Word, well, we can go ahead and do that. Let me show you. Let me select the table that I want to export, Book Sales. Double click, C. Let me go ahead and close out. With it selected, come up here, click on the External Data tab, go to the Export Group, click on More. And we want to export selected objects to rich text. Click on it. Opens it up. Where do you want to put it? Well, not in the Documents folder. Let's click Browse. Let's just do it to the desktop. And you can see it's uh, tblbooksales.rtf. The extension is for rich text format. So it will keep the format, and I'll show you that in just a second once we export it. So let's click Save. And then it says Specify Export Options. Well, the only thing you get is to open the destination file after the export operation is complete. We won't do that. Let's just go ahead and click Okie Dokie. And you can actually save the steps. So if you had a lot of steps when it came to exporting it, which we really didn't. But hey, let's go ahead and do it. And there's the name of the export, Table Book Sales. And then click Save It. And it's done. Let's minimize this down to the taskbar because on the desktop, there he is. Let's go ahead and you can see the extension RTF rich text format. Double click. And there's the format right there. It's a table. Well, that's what you can do in Word. So if you understand tables in Word and spreadsheets or cells in Excel, and then of course tables in Access, they all have a lot of similarities. And so I recommend that you learn up a little bit on each. And what you learn one will help out in the other. So you can see it's all there. And scroll down. Okay, it goes to the end here. Let's scroll back up and let's test this. So we've got the customer ID 32560. That sold 100 books. So keep the 100 in mind. I'll keep the customer ID in mind. Let's go ahead and close out. And then click on the access button to restore the window. And we're going to go in our book sales table. And there we go, 32560 instead of 100. Let's go ahead and change it to 99. And then hold down the shift key, hit enter. And then close out. And we save this export. So up here in the export group, go to the save exports. Click on it. It's right there. Let's run it. It's going to replace the existing file on the desktop. You okay with that? Yes. Uh, let's see. Finished. Okay. Close out. Close out. Minimize that. It's right there. Double click. Okay. There's the customer ID. I did my job. I remembered it. What about books sold? Well, it used to be 100. Whew. I remembered that. Now it's 99. So it works. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.